We got that one. Choked it. He wasn't coming off either. We got that one. The buzz toad is no secret. You know, it, it's, it's been out for 10, 15 years now. A lot of people don't really realize, but Todd Alton is actually the true inventor of the buzz toad. There's a lot of different ones on the market. The Greenfish Tackle Toad Toter Buzz, you know, this is this is the one that I use. It's very similar to the actual true original that Todd Alton uh, had a local guy making back home. But a few of the things that that I do that's, you know, maybe everybody don't do. Um, I always, I always crimp. I crimp that rivet. You know, you can, you can use a good crimp and plier or you can just take your needle nose and just squeeze it. And what that does, it, it keeps that rivet from spinning and it gives it, you know, it lets that blade, uh, just gives it, keeps the rivet from spinning when that blade does. So it actually makes it squeak better. Um, you know, this, this head specifically designed to put your toad over top of. So just go, and I come all the way in and come out between the legs, right there in the middle of the legs. Push it up on there, over top of the head. Hook is way back there. I got that one off center just a little bit, but it'll be just fine. Uh, I keep my colors pretty simple. I, I pretty much throw a white, or blue glimmer, you know, this is a special run colored horny toad here with a nickel blade. I throw green pumpkin with a gold blade. I will throw black with, you know, either color blade or black blade, but that's pretty much it color wise. I keep it simple. If I'm fishing around fish that I feel like are feeding on brim, uh, mayfly hatch, brim beds, that kind of deal, cruising fish, that's when I'll kind of go with the green pumpkin with the gold blade. If I'm fishing shad spawn or earlier in the year, stained water, that's when I'll go with the white or, you know, in a little bit cleaner water, bluebird sky day. I'll go with something a little bit more just toned down. It's still a good shad color, but it's, it's toned down. It's not as loud as a straight white. Blue glimmer, there's some other good colors on the market that, that kind of uh, fit that. Um, but you know, a lot of guys, you know, some guys use braid, some guys use fluoro, some guys use mono. I use braid only when I'm flip fishing grass. I'm a mono guy, 20 pound, sunline, supernatural, um, see, about you said fluorocarbon. Use fluorocarbon on pretty much everything else. Supernatural monofilament, um, that's my deal. Like, I've done it for years. I don't see a reason to use anything different. Um, I feel like I can skip under docks, skip under uh, trees, pontoon boats. I feel like I can just skip better with that mono and the buzz toad. Um, pretty much always a seven foot rod, seven foot medium heavy. This is an extra fast action, high speed reel. This is a seven to one. Um, I feel like you get on an eight to one, you can kind of kind of get going a little bit too fast, but this is an arc essence. Like I said, a seven foot extra fast, medium heavy, G5 gravity reel, buzz toe, brim, mayflies, shad, stained water. That's it.